guys. How y'all doing? Welcome to Charlie B. More careful. Um, I know I haven't blogged in like a little bit, which probably don't, probably don't really care because I really don't have that many viewers. But um, I do it anyway because it's like self therapy for me. But um. I'm going through some stuff right now. Mentally, I'm going through a lot of stuff right now. I got so much on my plate. I don't even know what to do. And like I told y'all once before, my dude don't like me vlogging. Because he says I give the camera too much time. Not the camera, the phone. <laughs> He said that I'd be on the he said that I'd be on the phone too much or whatever. Which I really haven't been lately because um when he's around it's always an issue about me being on my phone. Which when he met me, all I did was used to be on my phone like that. In fact, I didn't even have unlimited he did. He would let me play on his phone. Now it's like a problem with him and I'm starting to see that it's starting to be a problem with him on a couple things. And, um, I don't know. I'm just going through something right now. And, you know, I've been in this situation before. And I'm not feeling this situation. And, um, like, I, I don't have a problem with certain things, you know. But what I do have a problem with is the way somebody talks to me. I don't know, things just like, I don't know, as time goes on, it's like, I don't even know, because I don't even want to say something and it get, it get twisted around and stuff like that, so I'm just going to keep it short and keep it sweet, but, um, I'm just going through a lot right now. I really don't have nobody that I could really talk on without that I could really talk to without being too judgmental. And I'm just looking for somebody that I can just spill everything out on what's on my mind and I have to, no judgment and I don't got that right now. So I have to hold on to a lot of things that um that's on my mind that I want to say and I feel like I can't do that no more I feel like I can't be me the way I used to be me like if anybody been following me like my first my first blog the very first one that I did when I was in the car I was really happy then. I, I was really happy. I'm just saying that was a point in my life where I was really happy. I was really, really happy. But I guess as time goes on, you know, people change. Or either it's, they was already that way and it was just, it took time to see that person was that way because of the fact that you wasn't, you know, when you're not under a person all the time, you really don't know that person until you really, like, be with that person, you know? And, you know, it's just...
it's just weighing on me heavy. And um, I don't like nobody to be thinking that they could take advantage of me because of any type of situation that I might be put in because I've been there before. And I said that I would never, never, never let anyone ever take me there before. And I meant that. So. I don't know. I really, I just really don't know. That's how I feel. Like, I really don't know. And there's so many things that's making me so unhappy. That I could sum it all up in one word, but I'm not even going to put it out there like that. I'm not even going to do that. Like I told you, like, making these blogs or videos or whatever the fuck you want to call them. They, it's like a diary for me. You know what I'm saying? It's just that I got people, the little, the squad. Charlie B squad that I got out there, you know. I'm just happy that I do have the subscribers that I have, and I'm always grateful or whatever, but. It's just not the way it used to be. And I don't know how to explain it. A lot of stuff has changed. And I don't know. I just... Sometimes I just be so unhappy. And like the way I could sit here and talk to this phone... I don't have anyone to talk to that I can talk to and not get judged and judgment and giving advice is two different things. Um, I wish I had somebody that could give me some advice. And to be honest with you, I could use some advice, but I kind of see where things is going at now. And um, it's not going to go very far. I remember when I was li when I was in a situation one time before, and um. <laughs> This guy <coughs> that I was seeing, that I was seeing at the time, he was there for me. But he was like, was he, um, you know, found out that I was like losing my place and stuff. He tried to like start like mistreating me and stuff like that or whatever, trying to mistreat me and make it seem like, oh, what I say go, you know what I mean? And wanted to be arguing and stuff like that. And when I seen that flip, I was like, oh, okay, so he he think I need him, you know? I'ma never need a motherfucker, never. I, if I want to be somewhere, it's because I want to be there. You understand what I'm saying? So, um, like, he was there for me. Like, he, I'm going to tell you, it was only me, him, and my three kids, and they was young at the time. They was like, matter of fact, I ain't going to lie, my, my, my oldest child wasn't around. He was living somewhere else. It was just me and my other two kids, and it was him. And he moved. When I say this man moved, Every bit of furniture out of my three-bedroom townhouse, he did it all by himself. He moved everything by himself. 
And he rented the U-Haul for me and everything. And I went and I went to go and stay with him. And then it was like, he changed on me. And I was like, oh, like he was, his mouth started getting more slicker. You know what I mean? Trying to slick talk and shit. See, don't ever do that to a Virgo because Virgos, we react on our, our emotions. And... We could say some shit that come out of our mouth, but let me tell you, and I'm going to be honest about this. When we say it, we really fucking mean it. Like, ain't no, oh, I was just mad. I meant what the fuck I said. So, he called himself trying to act like some, something like he was the big man because he helped me and let me move in with him, with my, with my, um, son and my daughter and my goddaughter but when he got to talking that slick talk i had a car i packed my shit just as fast as i got there i was the fuck out and i don't want anybody to ever think they're going to take advantage of me because they feel as though i don't have a king somewhere else if you know i'm just going to say that basically These last couple months been very tough for me. We know identity theft is a very real problem. We think we'll put a plan in place someday, right? Been very, it's been very tough for me. And um, I, sometimes I don't know how to to like talk to someone without them thinking that. I'm trying to be smart or evil or mean or vindictive. And um, I don't ever mean to come off that way. It's just that I'm trying to explain myself. That's all. You ever have an apartment, right? We gonna we gonna say this. You go through life. You got your ups, you got your downs, right? And then like, like when you was really down, 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 down. You know what I'm saying? You did everything in your power to get up, 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 as far as you could go. You know. As far as you think that you can go, at least. And, um, it's crazy. I was, I was like, in a tough situation. Very tough situation. But before I start that, getting back to what I was saying about the boy. So anyway, he, um, I don't know if he thought because, I don't know if he thought, oh, okay, this, this, um, bitch ain't got no motherfucking crib. So she gonna listen to what the fuck I say and what I say fucking go. Don't ever do a woman like that. Because, see, you never know what they got up their sleeve and what they got planned. And with me, I always got a B plan. I'm going to always have that B plan. Because I always know where I can go. You understand what I'm saying? That's why I be telling motherfuckers, you got to watch what you say to me because, you know... I'm sensitive. I don't know about y'all, but I'm sensitive. You know what I'm saying? I could be that rough bitch. I could be that bitch that, you know, when I need to be. But 
I can't. I can't. So, so anyway, what happened was, um, I got, I came in from work one day. I think it was. I was, I think I worked day shift that day. I got off like, yeah, it was day shift. I got off like about six. I worked from 12 to six. And um, when I came in, my daughter was like, um, telling me that the dude that I was seeing at the time had called her a fucking name. And I felt like it was disrespectful. And who the fuck is you to talk about my child? You feel what I'm saying? So I packed up my motherfucking shit. And I got in my motherfucking car and I left. And a friend of mine had offered me a spot before I even left my townhouse. But I told him, like, at the moment, I can't even, you know, move in because I don't have no income. I didn't have a job or anything. I ended up getting a job after I moved out and moved in with the guy that I was seeing at the time. So, um, you know, he gave me his phone number and stuff like that or whatever. And was like, look, if you ever need me, you know what I'm saying? Here's my phone number. So, that day, I called him up. I'm like, yo, I got a job now. You know what I'm saying? Cause we could talk about rent or whatever. He was like, well, I'm at work right now. He was like, you come pick me up. And I'll open the door for you. And then, you know, you could um just drop me back at work. So I was like, fine. I was like, thank you. Because, like, you know, you got people out here that try to take advantage of you. Because if you in a certain situation, they feel as though they could talk to you like shit, get over on you and stuff like that when you down. And I'm that type of bitch that you're not going to do that to me. Like, I've been through a lot as a child and as a teenager and as a grown woman in my 20s. I've been through a lot. So, like, when I feel as though that my happiness is, like, coming to an end. Or that I'm not happy anymore. I just can't be around it because it makes me not feel good. And at this point in my life, I feel as though I should always be happy. It's not a moment in my life that I shouldn't be happy for. But everybody go through their ups and downs. You know, ain't no problem with that. But it's about how you talk to somebody. You know, you can't just be caught, you know, talking to somebody like that. And um, just saying ignorant and rude shit. And I, a lot of that, I think, comes from when men think that, uh, well, this bitch ain't got no motherfucking where to go now. So, uh. Bitch, you gonna listen to me and um, what I say, fucking go. Uh, not with me. So I got a lot of stuff on my mind right now. A lot of a lot of stuff on my mind right now, and um, it's hard because I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. I'm just going to give it to God and let God take care of it, as I normally do. But he's always there, and I know that for a fact. God brought me a long, long way, and I know he's not going to bring me all this far to just drop me. So...
I'm going to leave this one up to God. Um, I know I never put no video out like this. And I don't mean to put no video out like this. But this is like, this is like therapy for me. This is like therapy for me. So... That's why I like to, like, you know, make my videos. Because I make my videos on how I feel. So. You know. It is what it is. I got a lot of things I have to do. I got to put all my pieces back in their places where they belong. It's crazy. Well, I'm gonna end this video. I don't have nothing else more to say. This is how I feel. This is how I feel right now. So I'm gonna just put it out there. Like it is what it is. Like I told y'all, if it's something that I want to put out there, and like I told y'all, ain't no editing, none of that shit. I'm just going to give it to y'all raw. And this is just how I'm feeling. And when I get, get answers to my questions to solve my problems that I have, I'm going to let y'all know. Well, to all the dads out there, enjoy your Father's Day weekend. God bless you. But I realize they're full of diet sweeteners. I forced myself to switch to plain water. Within weeks, my skin was looking healthier. Have a blessed day.